Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and render unto God what is God's. Hi. For the 29th Sunday of the year, Jesus gives us an attitude toward government. For the first reading of the prophet Isaiah, the king of Persia is told by the Lord, Though you knew me not, it was I who gave you your title. Something that Jesus would clarify later when he was face to face with Pontius Pilate, the highest reigning authority in the land, when he said, you would have no power were it not given you from above. Recognizing that all human authority and power is merely a sharing in the authority and power of God, and therefore legitimate authority must be given its due. In the Gospel, the Pharisees were trying to shake Jesus up, implying that he didn't really care about what Caesar thought. But his ingenious reply, saying, Give to Caesar whose image you see on that coin. Give to God whose image and likeness man is made in. So we do give Caesar his due. But ultimately, all power and authority flows from the Lord. Sometimes there is a certain kind of idolatry or obsession people have about politics as if it were the be-all and end-all. And there is only one who is all in all, and that is God. The opposite extreme is to be avoided as well, to say, well, I'm following God. I don't need to follow any human authority. Jesus himself paid his taxes. Jesus followed legitimate authority on earth, showing us an example of what we must do. He also died to redeem all authority, redeem all politics even though many times it is corrupt by the lust for power or the love of money. The other thing that giving Caesar his due does is remembering that governments need a certain amount of capital to run, and we have a need to not be attached to wealth, and so giving Caesar his due is actually good for us as well. The best way to incorporate all of this is to pray for our government leaders, which is what St. Paul urges all of us to do, and pray for justice, peace, and grace for all. God bless you.